So what can you do to improve yourself? Well, there are tons of articles, books and videos out there teaching you how to improve yourself, right? They teach you all these cool and fancy tips and tricks, different cool habits that you can adopt. But let's be honest, you simply cannot absorb all of them. And some habits are better than other habits, you know, some habits are just more superior than other habits. And you know this through your journey in self-improvement. So this got me thinking, right? What is the most important self-improvement habit, right? What is the habit of the habit, the king of all the habits? And after thinking about this for a while, I think I found the answer. You will very likely laugh or want to yell at me when you hear the answer. But to me, and I believe to everyone that's watching this video right now, the most important self-improvement habit is simply your sleep. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can hear you already. Thanks, Jason. But no thanks, I noticed already. And then you click the back button and go on to find the next video that you want to watch. But the problem is that you don't. You don't already know this. If you're watching this right now, I can guarantee you that you do not understand the magnitude of the problem here. You do not understand how important, just how important and how crucial your sleep is to all other self-improvement habits that you are doing right now. Good sleep will boost them by a few votes. Bad sleep will cripple or ruin the progress that you've made. I know you expect me to give you some fancy ass answer on, oh, read 10 books a day or meditate two hours a day. But the thing is the most important habit, like sleep, are just not fancy at all. They're not fancy, they're basic. No one wants to hear them. And that's why no one is talking about them. And that is why I'm making a video about it because it is so crucial that I can't believe no one is talking about it. Okay, so if you're ready, then let me take you on this dreamlike journey. Pun intended. Oh, and also, if you're new here, my name's Jason. Here, I try to help you gradually improve your life and filter out all the BS advice out there on YouTube. If that sounds right to you, just quickly click the subscribe button and hop on the journey because it'll only get better. Here is how I initially got enlightened on how important sleep actually is. So a lot of the ideas that I talk about in this video is from the book, Why We Sleep, Unlock the Power of Sleep and Dreams by Matthew Walker, who is a professor at UC Berkeley. Uh, UC Berkeley is this very top US university, if you're not from the US, obviously. And he also used to um, teach in Harvard, I think. And he works with companies like Google as well. So this guy's a really reputable guy and the book is very legit. So while reading this, right, in the introduction on the first chapter, he mentioned one thing. If sleep does not serve an absolute vital function, then it is the biggest ever. If sleep does not serve an absolute vital function, then it is the biggest mistake that our evolutionary process has ever made. Just let that sink in, right? If you think about it, it makes sense because think about our ancestors, they're trying to survive, they're trying to hunt and not get eaten by tigers and lions, right? Then why are we sleeping? We spend so much time sleeping as well. We spend like, what, eight, eight, nine hours sleeping? And in those hours, we're basically paralyzed, right? So that means that our body is risking our survival and the continuity of the human race just in order to get some sleep. So if that doesn't tell you just how important sleep is, I don't know what else will. So with that in mind, here are some of the top benefits that I think sleep provides to your self-development journey. So the first main way that sleep helps you is uh, memory aid, which is also the most well, well understood benefits of sleep. It helps you before learning and also after learning. So in a study conducted, there was two groups. One group was napping before they tried to memorize set of facts and the other group um, just stayed awake. And the nap group performed 20% better than the group that did not nap. So that means that if you're not giving yourself enough sleep or you're not utilizing sleep enough, you're putting yourself on a 20% disadvantage when doing um, when you're trying to mem memorize something. So after learning, uh, your brain will move the newly learned memory from the short-term memory storage uh, in your hipp hippocampus, which is a bit more vulnerable in terms of keeping that memory because, you know, just like a computer, if you keep everything in your short-term memory, it does not have a lot of capacity. So when you sleep after learning, it moves that memory into the long-term memory, which actually helps you store that memory for a longer time. So that's the first benefit. Second of all, sleep also helps you with your concentration. And this is actually a big one that I did not realize. In another study, concentration of subjects was compared between groups that had a full eight hours of sleep 
subjects who slept six hours, four hours, and no sleep at all. It was shown that the group that slept eight hours compared to the group that did not sleep at all for one night, there is a 400% decrease in concentration for the group that did not sleep at all. And I know what you're gonna say now. Well, of course I sleep. I just not sleep that much, right? But actually, if you sleep only four hours for six days, or if you only sleep six hours for 11 days, your concentration level drops to the equivalent of a person who put an all night to. So this is for the guys out there who only sleep six hours a day and think they're doing fine. No, you're not. Your concentration has dropped by like 400%. If that still doesn't convince you, here's the third point, which I personally think relates to my self-development journey a lot. So sleep actually affects your emotional rationality a lot. Think about this. Sometimes when you go to bed really late, maybe you were out clubbing, you went to grab a few drinks with a friend, or you were just doing whatever, right? Maybe you were playing video games. The next morning waking up, you always feel a bit lazy. You always feel a bit like tired, you don't want to work. Now I used to think this is like a symptoms of hangover, right? Oh, I'm just hangover, so I don't want to work. But it is actually linked to sleep because sleep deprivation actually leads to emotional irrationality. When you're sleep deprived, your amygdala, which is actually a region around here in your brain, which is responsible for strong emotions like rage or excitement, is actually amplified by 60% when you're sleep deprived. Now that means when you're sleep deprived, you'll be more sensitive to um, triggers that makes you have very that makes you very angry or makes you very excited. Now this might sound good until you realize another effect of sleep deprivation. When you're sleep deprived, your prefrontal cortex, which is just here, which is actually the region that distinguishes us from other primates, which is also responsible for our rationality, logical thinking, and decision making, is actually seriously impaired. Uh, when you're sleep deprived. And a combination of the two problem is a result where you often feel very undisciplined, very lazy because your prefrontal cortex is not in a normal regulation. And you also feel more rewarded when you do activities that give you high stimulation of dopamine. For example, you might want to play more video games the morning when you're sleep deprived. You might want to just sleep more, sleep for longer. You might want to eat junk food. Now, again, I used to think this is just a symptom of hangover, but actually it's linked to sleep deprivation. And if you're a person that's trying to be more disciplined, you realize that sleep deprivation is actually a big, big hurdle for you to doing that. So again, sleep more. And there's also two more benefits in particular, physical benefits of sleep. So the first one is your refinement of motor skills. Now, if you're a sports person or if you do any things that requires coordination, like playing the piano or playing the guitar, you might have experienced this. So one day you're trying to learn a new song or something and you just can't play it. But then after a good night of sleep, the next morning, very surprisingly, and perhaps magically, you just started playing very fluidly. Again, this is sleep uh, in action, helping you refine your motor skills accuracy as well as speed. Now again, another study, uh, this time comparing between two groups who tried to learn the same motor skill. One group had a full night of sleep, the other didn't. Comparing their performance in performing that motor skill, the group that had a full night of sleep performed 20% better in their speed and 35% better in their accuracy. Now this again shows you just how crucial sleep is when you're doing, when you're trying to learn a new skill. The last benefit that I think is also very interesting that sleep brings is benefit it brings to your physical performance when you're exercising or doing sports. Now, this is especially important to those of you who always like to perform in your peak rate. I certainly am. I go to the gym every time I go, I want to at least hit the same reps and volume that I did last time. If not, break my uh, personal record, right? So sleep actually increases your time to physical exhaustion by 10 to 30%. 10 to 30, that means you get tired like 30% sooner. Your aerobic output is also significantly decreased. Now this is also coupled with a decrease in your peak muscle strength. Now I don't think this should come as a surprise. Think of a time when you're tired, when you're sleep deprived and you try to go to the gym. It is quite normal that you just cannot hit the same reps, right? But now it's just that science is backing it up. I round up this benefit with um, two examples from two different sportsmen. First one is Iguodala, which is a NBA basketball star. Now the author actually used data from Iguodala's sleep to prove the point. Now the data compared, now the data compared his performance um, during games when he had eight hours or more of sleep or less than eight hours of sleep. And it was shown that when he had a full night of sleep, 
he had a 29% increase in his points per minute. Just from sleeping more, he increased his points per minute by 29%. On the flip side, when he had less than eight hours of sleep, there is a 37% increase in turnover. This is how important sleep is. This is how important sleep is. And finally, I'd like to talk about Usain Bolt. Now, Usain Bolt has a track record of taking naps uh, multiple times before he broke uh, Olympic. Now, Usain Bolt has a track record of taking naps before he break world records, as well as before he win Olympic golds. Now, this is because daytime naps does not act. Now, this is because daytime naps does not only help you improve your motor skills, like we discussed before. It also helps you increase your perceived energy levels as well as reduce your muscle fatigue. So again, if you want to break some world records, it might be a good idea to take a nap beforehand. So there you go. These are some of the key benefits of sleep to your self-improvement journey. If you're already taking eight hours of sleep, continue doing so. If you're not, consider starting tonight. I mean, if you're on this journey anyway, you don't want to put yourself at any disadvantage compared to those who actually have eight hours of sleep. Sleep really is uh, nature's natural prescription of medicine to you. It is prescribed every day, every night, and you're supposed to take it every night, but some people just does not do it. And, and now that I've realized just how important it is, it baffles me. And yeah, um, and yeah, often these very important habits are not the most fancy ones. They are the most basic ones, the ones that have been said over, over and over again by people before us. And the fact is, it is true. Success isn't built overnight. Success isn't built on some fancy advice. It is built with a solid foundation. And if you're able to build the solid foundation, you might just be able to become successful in the near future. That's all for me today. I'll see you next time. Bye.